Today marks a year since the Enyobeni Tarvin tragedy. 20 young, 21 young people rather collapsed and died at the East London drinking hole, the youngest being just 13 years of age. Well, the owners of the Tarvin are on trial for selling alcohol to minors and are due back in court next month. ENC's Ronald Masinda is covering the anniversary of the tragedy and he joins me live now just to give me an update on how uh, you know the day is looking out at the commemoration event. Ronald, good morning to you. How's the program looking? And how will, of course, the province, the community uh, be commemorating and reflecting on this day? Good morning, Tumelo. While the commemoration celebration is about to get underway here at the community hall in Sunnery Park, but the Pens down parties remain cause for concern for authorities on the metro. They say that this weekend around 700 young people descended on the beaches, many of whom were caught drinking alcohol. Many of these young people are underage. And uh, we also understand that at least 15 people were arrested for drunk and driving. They have cautioned parents to look after their children because they fear that another event like the one we witnessed exactly a year ago uh, may happen. I am joined now by Kuleki Lengnanda, and he is one of the parents. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. We really appreciate it. Let me take you back. What do you remember about today? Uh, good morning, Ronald, and good morning to your viewers as well. What I remember about today is the fact that that's the day when I heard that my son passed away at Enyomeni Tave in Sinari Park, where we are today. This is Sinari Park. The hall that we are in is in Sinari Park. How would you like your son to be remembered? I would like him to be remembered as a cheerful child, a, a child who was looking forward to life, who was looking forward to education, to get education so that he can better himself. He understood and he knew that without education uh, in South Africa, there is no way that you can go further in, in, in anything. We spoke to the Eastern Cape Liquor Board recently, who also held their own celebration to remember this occasion with uh, a run that took place yesterday. The Eastern Cape Liquor Board is adamant that uh, the state has a strong case against the nervous. What do you think will be the appropriate punishment if found guilty? Well, if found guilty, I would really love that the state can make an example so that any other uh, business owner who is in this business can know the consequences of allowing young children of, or of selling young children alcohol. This is not allowed. This is against the law. If you do it, you need to be punished. So I, I would really love for, for the state to make an example of him. We last heard that uh, Mr. Mdevu, Mdevu himself is selling uh, you know, bottles uh, to try and make a living. He has said that he also tried to open a tavern just a stone's throw away from here. You've been quite vocal about him not showing any remorse. Would you forgive him? Well, forgiveness, it's a big weight. And uh, before someone has to be forgiven, he or she needs to show remorse. But as far as Mr. Nevo, he doesn't show any remorse for the mere fact that he goes to that area where our children passed away and does what he has been doing to be told that he's selling uh, bottles or whatever, but still, that's still to run a business. Yes, we've heard about him uh, trying to open another tavern around Scenary Park, the, but the community of this area didn't allow that. They made sure that this doesn't happen. So we are so grateful to the community of Scenary Park for standing up for the right things, for what they believe is right to say nothing like this they will allow to happen in their area more especially for someone who's still before the courts of law but he still wants to continue as if nothing has happened my last question sir the buffalo city metro raising more concerns around this 
pins down parties which are quite common during this time of the year after young people have written exams. As a parent, what advice will you give other parents? Well, what advice I will give other parents is to say we need to, to be careful as to sometimes we don't know where our kids are because when they leave their homes or their houses, they are not saying where they are actually going. A child will leave his home early in the day, but he will not come back. You will find out he has attended such gatherings. So it is quite important also to the children as well to stay away from such things. They must know that this is not for their future. Their future is to get education and to make sure that South Africa is better for them. You see today here are the parents, they are here, they are here to commemorate their children. The community of this area, they are here to be with us. They are standing with us firm to say we are behind you, we support you. Thank you so much for your time and the, the commemoration is about to start to mellow. The venue is starting to fill up uh, but our team has also put a montage together so let's just watch it. ANC is Ronald Massinda, of course, as uh, those uh, commemoration events are expected to start uh, any moment now out in Scenery Park.